Now the green with the white stripe wires out. And then more on this one, we'll go ahead and lock it shut. We're going to move the red wire. This one's stuck. Okay, the red red wire's out. No more on this side, we'll close this one up. We'll open this side here up. Take the green with the yellow stripe wire out. And the green with the yellow stripe wire is out. And then as all the wires we need to remove from the ECU connector, we can close this one up. Except for the red with the black stripe, which I have to replace on this harness. Which you should not, yours should be intact. Okay, we have the black wire that came off of the uh, dash connector here. We're going to cut off and we're going to connect to another black wire on the ECU harness here. On the ECU connector. Which I have picked out, looking at the connector, the bump is bigger on this side than it is on this side, so this will actually be the top. There is a black one on the end here. There's quite a few black ones, but I'm going to use this one here on the end. It's the very end one on top here. It's a ground wire. And then we'll just trace it down the harness. where it pulls out right here. As you see, this is a factory where they already had something connected here. But we're going to cut and splice on this one here. Or I actually have a set of splicers here. Works a whole lot better. And this will not cut the wire. It will actually just pull the shielding back off of it. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Or as you see, it just pulled. As you see, it just pulled the shielding back here and exposed the wire. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this wire here, cut it to size. So the ends cut off of it now. This wire is gone. We're going to strip this wire, get it ready to install on. We're stripping a little. A little bit large because you're going to twist it around the wire. After your wire is stripped, go ahead and dip it in some flux. Basically, what I'm using is Dutch Boy Tinning Flux. I got it from Lowe's in the plumbing section. You definitely want to use this stuff, it helps you uh, get a better solder on your wire. Now all we're going to do is just twist this wire onto this one. And as far as the solder I'm using, I'm using the Radio Shack .032 die. It's light duty. I'm just using a pin type. It's a switchable from 20 watts to 40 watts. 
20 watts is all you need to do wiring like this. Just pick some solder up with your gun. And solder the wires. Make sure you get enough solder on there. Make sure you have a good connection. After you have it soldered up, use some electrical tape, cover it up really good. Wrap it really tight. And that's done.